I spent 14 years working for the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation as a community relations coordinator and then as a press secretary serving all the Western Pennsylvania region here in District 10 and District 11. We have critical infrastructure needs in this Commonwealth. We need to make sure that our bridges are adequate to carry uh, manufacturing loads, to carry tractor trailers, to carry school buses. Uh, it's a serious dilemma that we have right now. We need to make sure that we are adequately funding transportation. We need to uh, have capital improvement projects. Indiana County only has four lane highway access uh, through 119 and then down to Route 22. We need to do what we can to improve access to attract more businesses here. That's one of the challenges that we face when trying to attract businesses is we don't have that highway infrastructure. Infrastructure also equates to um, broadband and technology. We need to make sure that we have broadband access across all of Indiana County particularly in the rural areas. It's very hard to attract businesses that can't access high-speed internet to process transactions. It's hard to attract families who need broadband access, high-speed internet for their, for their kids to do their schoolwork or for people to work remotely from home. So we're seeing a lot of people who want to live in Indiana County because of our tremendous quality of life and they want to work remotely. So I'm seeing that as, a, as a, a, an increasing trend here locally. So we need to make sure that we have transportation infrastructure in place, we need to make sure that we have the broadband infrastructure in place, and we need to make sure that we have all the other services that are critical related to infrastructure, water and sewage examples. So we need to make sure we have all of those in place, that those pro projects are being adequately funded so we can expand access to those resources, and then we can attract more people back to Indiana County, we can attract more people to Western Pennsylvania and across the Commonwealth. Those, those are critical components that people need for good quality of life, and we need to continue to to broaden that out across Indiana County and across the 62nd District for the people of Indiana County.